Hello everyone and welcome back to the Devtastic Voyage. Welcome back aboard. I don't really have an intro worked out for this series yet, but I'm just going to start off by saying a huge thank you to everyone who checked out the first episode. Absolutely blown away and humbled by all of you thinking this was awesome, thinking this is something you wanted to continue to check out. I didn't know, I didn't imagine anyone was going to watch it, let alone think this was good, and I'm already starting to tear up and we've just started. Okay, no, no tears. Game development. Serious business. Uh, so let's... Whew, okay, let's let's get going. Um, as we discussed last time, the game we're going to be making is going to be a kind of smaller dating sim starring members from Battle Cattle UK. And starring in the biggest possible air quotes. Um, we're going to either be playing as Suli Spa or Shadowstalker on the day of the skip festival at BCUK High, and the goal is to try and skip with the other person. Now this one isn't going to be an hour long. I really want to keep as much of the design in as I can, but I don't want these videos to be like feature length. Holy crap, this dum-dum is just talking at us for an hour. That, that's not what I want. So we're only going to go 15 minutes, and the 15 minutes starts now. So what I want to do today, as I talked about last time, we're going to have eight distinct paths or eight choices that are going to be made and we have the out of universe choice which is basically the kind of game choice of are you going to play a Sulia or are you going to play a shadow and that then breaks down into the four different paths so what I want to lay out is kind of that opening segment where we have our character who then sees the new kid so let's for just sake of instance say we're playing a shadow and we see Suli. Again, I am just fantastically representing that beard. Again, if, if you haven't checked it out, go. His Twitter's down in the description. Go look at Suli's beard and then just marvel at it. So, we're going to start with okay, they've had their 80s montage moment of, oh, he's so beautiful. I just want to skip with him. I don't know what that voice was. We've had that moment. And then uh, this is where we're going to kind of take, give the player control, and they're going to make their first choice. So let's again start breaking these down at Shadow. And then we're going to give you two options, is what I'm thinking. You can either muster up the courage and go talk to New Kid yourself, and, or. You can do what I'd imagine a lot of people did in high school is go have Era or talk to new kid. Go have your friend do it for you. Now this is where we're going to kind of break down into the mechanics of how these choices are going to work. What I'm thinking, and this is a very, very crude uh, interpretation of what I mean, but since we have four endings for each... Think of it as we have four different buckets, and each one of these choices is going to add points into one of these buckets, and when whichever one of those buckets is the fullest will determine our ending. So, for instance, if we have the, if you remember right, this was this was end up with Era as friend, this was Era steal Suli, then this was Forever Alone, and this one was. You get your man. So out of these two, you'd figure having Era go talk to to the new kid would probably give you a point in uh, either her stealing the new kid or you uh, kind of wind, winding up alone. But it, I don't know if we do the point here or if we go into the actual conversation because where I want this to branch next is what you actually have them say. So if you if you say, for instance, we'll kind of lay out the first one of go talk to new kid. So this is you doing it. Um, we lay out a di actual dialogue sequence that could end with uh, any one of those points. So you, maybe you say something really charming. Maybe you say something as is more often the case when you first meet someone really stupid. 
Um, I don't know if I want to go for a neutral option, but for the sake of illustrating, let's just say a neutral option. Something like, hey, nice shoes. I don't know. It depends on the person. That may actually be a more than neutral comment. That may actually be something really charming. Or the alternative is you, uh, bit, we're gonna you can choose the option to have era talks to new kid, and it's, it's you can then kind of uh, you make the choice of, of influencing what she's gonna say. We aren't actually gonna show that dialogue. Uh, it'll just be basically era then goes talks to. The, the new kid and then reports back to you so you can be like uh ask him about himself ask about him. ask about him so that could give us a, that could really where this point system or these buckets i'm trying to describe is going to be a little bit tricky on my end is to figure out okay does this make sense to the player that this option they selected then led them to the eventual ending. If it doesn't, then it's going to feel abrupt and it's going to feel disjointed. If it does, then it should flow nicely and would merit a second or a cup or more replay throughs to see how, okay, what do different options do? It's kind of the dichotomy of a false choice that we want to avoid. And particularly with this genre, with a choose your own adventure, it's more, it's a lot uh, easier to avoid that. Whereas a lot of games will get really fat in the middle and then shrink back down. So you'll get a lot of games that look like it. Whee! <laughs> I really don't know what that noise was. But if you imagine like uh, Mass Effect is a perfect example of this. Even the, the Walking Telltale is The Walking Dead. It starts off, okay, from the same point, it's really fat in the middle as there's a lot of choices that expand through. And then it all kind of ends in the same spot. The advantage of the genre we're working with here and doing this is we can end in multiple spots so we can get fat and stay fat which is what I think a lot of people and bears would like to do so we can have era ask about ask the new kid about himself so we're, we're sending out basically on a recon mission um, but we can let's send her out there to be our hype man be like hey you know who's really awesome that guy and then, like, really cool, does, like, a really cool point. And apparently in this entire thing, um, she was wearing, like, sunglasses. And uh, this is just, I'm, oh, wait, wait, got, got, a, got a, the important bit. She's like, that, that, that's our hype man. That's a uh, hype man era. <laughs> um, or I don't know if we really need a third option for sending era in, but we I kind of want something where it backfires, because I mean, ask about him could lead to era stealing him or era uh, winding up with not you. Hmm. Not sure how to, not not sure where I want to go with that. I'm almost leaning towards we don't have a third option. We just have well, could you go over there and I don't know maybe ask him about himself and come back to me. I don't know why all of a sudden these guys are getting really creepy. It's just I think that's just what the, the sound of this entire thing is in my head. Or it'd be like, hey, could you go? Could you go over and like talk me up to him? It's like, that that'd be really cool. They also count, sound mildly inebriated. Okay. Again, this is going so far off the rails. So we're now in a better spot. It's um, Now we're really to the point where I have done little to no actual thought work. So we're going to do some brainstorming to kind of end this. Or end this. Um, so we have the option of we can send us in or we can send air in. Uh, I do want it to feel differently if you're Suli sending error in to get Shadow and if you're Shadow sending error in to get Suli and try saying that five times fast that hurt my head to even think of okay 
Okay, where can we go from there? Alright, so... Oop, let me... Where do we go from there? This is the thinking part. This is the part that makes no sense. This is the part that's going to be really unentertaining, as it's mostly me going, this is my thinking song. This is my thinking song. And I don't know where I was going with it. I was trying to think of fight song, but I can't really do the lyrics. And I'm trying to think at the same time and talk. And this is spiraling off the rails. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look at the kitty. Look at the very, very square kitty. <laughs> so where could we go from this? Um, if we talk to him, that should set us on a different path than if we ever ever talk to him. Because we do need to eventually interact with the other person. So, let's see here. Um, oh, and we have to put this in the function of a school day. So... Do, 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 um, okay, so we've talked to them. Maybe we do this. Okay, here's a thought. So if we're putting this under the uh, guise of it being during a school day, we have eight periods. Maybe all these interactions are happening in between classes. So it's basically hallway interactions so Suli was introduced or yeah let's just use Suli for the sake of uh, explaining where my head's going Suli was introduced at the start of the class class is basically spent with the shadow looking over and just kind of pining after him I don't know why he did the creepy it just oh god why do any of you watch this this is utter madness but he spent the whole, that whole first cast pining, pining at it after him, and then has the plan of, okay, I need to go talk to him. Let's, no, I'm going to go send my friend to do it. So then, basically, we get all that info of from the that conversation. So then, next up is after the second class. So what can we do? So we're going to basically have our second interaction. Um, hmm. This is where it's really going to have to... I'm gonna have, we're going to have to figure out what these characters are. So let's let's do what a lot of D and D fans love doing. Let's make some character sheets. So let's see if we have Sui. We have Shadow. And we have Era. All right. So when we're thinking about a character, we have to realize these are going to be character sheets for when we're not playing them because the way you're going to play the character is going to be vastly different. So what do each of these characters want? What is their high-end motivation? What is if we were to elevator pitch them, what would they be? Um okay. So shadow I think he's the easiest is his he's have the clear motivation. He wants to skip with Sui. Era I think we're gonna set for the for the prime motivation of wants to skip with Sui. And I don't know if that actually works for Shadow, if, if this is him not playing it. Um, Sully, we're going to have his prime motivation be unsure if wants to skip with Era or Shadow. Because I can't, I, if it's these guys when you're not playing them, then it makes sense for what I've written for Suli is you're basically trying to pursue him, but at the same time, Arab is both your buddy and your rival. But if it's Shadow, he can't have that cut and dry level of, because then there's no point to the game. So what would Shadow want? Um, hmm. What would, sh what would Shadow want? Um. Uh... 
I, okay, this is a put put a pin in this one. But wants to skip with someone. We're gonna <laughs> let's let's. Uh, he's the new kid. Okay, so we have your if you, if you're playing as Shadow trying to get Suli, it's the pretty new kid that everyone is trying to uh, gun after. If you're Suli trying to get Shadow, it's Shadow then is the unsure new kid who just wants people to like him. And that explains, okay, Suli then wants, uh, yep, okay. That actually, that works a lot. So then that creates a NPC rivalry connection here. Uh, the connection here makes, makes sense because it's, okay, well, he's a little timid about basically being sought after by two different people. Okay. Again, this is all skipping, all safe for work. I'm going to wrap this crazy thing as it's gone completely off the rails. But we've laid out our first choice, and that's who talks to the new kid first. Is it you or your wing, wing era? Um, now we're going to get a little bit more complicated as it's going to have to start adhering to some sort of characters, but we've laid out some basic character traits. Thank you for checking this out. Uh, if you have any comments, concerns, ideas, please do let me know down in the comment section below or on the Twitter. Um, I'm really excited for where this is going to go. It's again, we're going to try and keep these, we're going to try and get one of these done every week. Um, but I'm starting to ramble, so thanks for watching. Have a good day, and everyone go hug a puppy.